Hello everybody, this is Tech Hat and welcome to another Windows Basics tutorial. In this video, what we're going to be doing is going over three different methods in Windows to take screenshots. Now the first method is going to be a simple full screen grab, and then the next two is that we're going to go over some built-in software within Windows that will allow you to do a lot more such as window snipping, rectangular custom snipping, freeform, and then do some edits after the fact. So the very first thing I'm going to show you, which has been around ever since I can remember, is to hold down the Windows key and then press print screen on your keyboard. You can see that it went gray there for a second. Now if I go into my pictures and go into screenshots, you can see I have a full screenshot of my desktop. And that's print screen, that's really quick, easy. If that's what you're looking for, that is perfect. And then we have the old way, which is a snipping tool, which the reason I call this the old way is because you can see here that they're gonna be um, essentially getting rid of this and replacement for their new snip and sketch which if I go like this I just type in snip and sketch you can see right there it's under the Windows 10 apps instead of a built-in program so this is essentially these two are essentially the same thing you have modes the freeform rectangular window and full screen snip if I were to just do a quick rectangular snip and let's say I just wanted to get this elk or deer right here just like that it would show up in this box, I'd have a couple different options, save, copy, if I copy to the clipboard it's just like I'm hitting uh, right click copy image on something. You can email it out, you have a pen tool with some uh, customizable options to be able to draw on it, pick, point out things, highlight tool, and a erase tool with the option to drop it into Microsoft Paint. Now we're going to close this out and I'm going to open up the new software which is snip and sketch and this is going to be what it looks like it says press the windows logo key shift and s to snip what's on your screen without starting up snip and sketch so that is an option if you'd like to do that if we go ahead to new actually let's go and click the arrow you can see it has the uh, same kind of delay the other one had but instead of the exact seconds you have snip now three seconds or ten seconds if you go ahead and click on new it's going to gray out the screen a little bit and then you're going to have some familiar options. You have the rectangular snip, the freeform snip, window snip, and full screen snip. So actually if I go ahead and close that out I kind of want to show you a window snip. So here is a folder and if I go to new, window snip, which is this one right here, and I hover over the window you can see that everything is normal but as soon as I hover over the window it kind of grays everything out so I know that this is going to be the one I'm taking a screenshot of. Go ahead and give it a click and you can see it show up in the snip and sketch window. Here just like before we have a couple options we could do touch writing so if you have a touch screen this is optimized for that which is very nice if you're making tutorials if you're a teacher and you're trying to guide students through certain programs or online applications. You have your basic red, black, a highlighting tool by default, an eraser so you could get rid of what we just done. And this is a ruler. This is pretty cool. You could go ahead and throw this on in there. This is probably a beautiful thing if you're a math teacher and you're trying to throw that in there. You have a protractor as well which I'm not seeing in there. That's not showing up in there. I personally am never going to need a protractor but, well, actually I can't say that, you never know. If you want to go in and edit this after the fact, or edit the size, like the rectangular snip, you could go ahead and crop this down a little bit, which is beneficial. If you don't know exactly what part of a window that you need when you're screen grabbing, you could grab the whole screen and crop this after the fact, and then we can say we're done with that. That's very much, oh, there's the protractor. It was hiding off to the side there, so that's super cool. I'll just put that right there. To go ahead and save this, you have the save button here, but like before, you can zoom in if you want to, copy it to your clipboard, and share it. If I do click share, it opens up the Microsoft options, but me personally, I just go ahead and save it and then share it myself. So let's go ahead and save it just as it says right here, and it always saves as a PNG file. Go ahead and click save. We're going to close this out and take a look at this. So it turned out absolutely perfect, and that is now how you take screenshots in Windows 10. So just a summary, we re reviewed the print screen, 
we went over the old snipping tool which is my lifetime favorite I've been using that ever since it came out in 2009 with Windows 7 I'm a little sad that it's switching over to the new sketch and snip or skip and snitch or whatever you want to call it but it is what it is and we move on in life please leave a comment if you have any issues I am more than happy to help you out please give this video a thumbs up if it's helped you out you know what to do if you disliked it Please subscribe, ring that bell for more basic Windows tutorials like this, as well as some hardware things and some more advanced tutorials. Basically anything tech is done on this channel. I hope you have a great day, and goodbye.